step five. Identify, identify, entering, entering, and leaving variable. Okay, that's we have we have to do. So for that, what we will do, we have to see over here in our last steps, we need to find out the pivot column. So we know the in the net evaluation row, we need to see the highest value. So this one by two is the highest value. This one by two is here. So this will be a pivot, a pivot column. So X1, x1 would be the entering value so x1 would be the entering value okay next what we have to do we have to find out the ratio we have to find out the ratio so that we will find out the leaving value so that we will find out the leaving value okay so a ratio how would we find the ratio we will divide this by this so 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 that would be 1 so 5 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 it would be 5 okay so which one is the smallest among 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 these between this 1 and 5 so 1 so this would be our pivot row this would be our pivot row and S1 would be our leaving variable. So you see, we have found the leaving and the entering variable. Now we just have to draw this tableau. For tableau, you see, we need to develop the tableau. Okay. So you see in the tableau, we just have to go with this. You have to go with this. Step by step. We go step by step. First, we need to write. It right x one x two s one s two okay then we have to write three five zero zero okay then what we have to do we have to write one by two zero one minus three by two and then one by two okay then the next coefficient we have to write One by two, one zero, one by two, five by two. So then we have to write CJ, and now we talk about the leaving and the entering. So we know X one is the entering element variable. So what you see X one is over here. 
and what is the coefficient of x1 is 3 x1 is 3 3 is here ok and what was x2 previously x2 is here so just the last line we have to write the j okay so you see over here we are done with the leaving and the entering variable so now we have to go for the another step that is the updating the pivot to update the tableau we need to go for the next step that is pivot to update the tableau okay in that we need to mention the pivot column and pivot row so that it will be easy for us to remember that this is this was our pivot column and this one was our pivot row okay now we are about to start with the next step that is the pivot to update the tableau so what is pivot to update the tableau the same which we did before in that what we did what we did we made the pivot element the main pivot element that is 2 by 2 1 by 2 sorry 1 by 2 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is the main pivot element so it has to be 0 it sorry it has to be 1 it has to be 1 and the remaining of this column has to be 1 the remaining of this has to be 0 let me repeat the pivot element has to be 1 and the remaining element in the column has to be 0 ok so let's move ahead what we need to do now first we need to make how to make it 1 by multiplying it with 2 ok first we multiply it with 2 when we will multiply it with 2 what will happen the new column the new row would begin let's make the new the new would be so you may say r1 r1 new r1 new equals to r1 new equals to into r1 old okay so this we have to do so what will happen what will be the values the values would be the values would be 1 0 2 minus 3 and 1 let me develop a tableau So, 
tableau is there. Now, we are done with the row 1, it is unit, it is 1. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is converted into 1 by multiplying it with the 2. Now, let's talk about the next row which has to be 0. So for making it 0, what we have to do? For making it 0, for making it 0, first we need to, uh, for making it 0, first we need to multiply, first we need to multiply, first we need to multiply the R1 new with with 1 by 2 with 1 by 2 and then minus it with with R2 old okay so let's do it r2 old equals to 1 by 2 1 multiplied by 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 r2 old is 1 by 2 and new is 1 so you see r2 old R2 old is 1 by 2. R2 old is 1 by 2. So R2 old. So R2 old minus 1 by 2 R1 new. Minus 1 by 2 R1 new. So you see what you got 0. We are done with this. Now next. R2 old, R2 old, that is 1, 1, 1 minus 1 by 2, R1 new, R1 new 0, it would be 1. Next is R2 old, 0 minus 1 by 2, R1 new, 2. So it would be minus one, minus one. Next is R2 old, R2 old is one by two, okay, minus one by two, R1 new, R1 new is Minus three. Minus three. Okay. So minus minus plus. So plus three by two. One by two. One by two plus three by two. So it would be four by two. That will make it two only. We get two only. So two would be the answer. And we did a little mistake in here. So we need to put it one over here instead of over here. We are, we have to put it over here. So one five by two now. Five by two. The last one is five by two. The five by two is the old one R two old five by two. 5 by 2 ok 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 R1 new R1 new is 1 by 2 R1 new is 1 sorry R1 new is 1 R1 new is 1 
and R2 old is 5 by 2, 5 by 2 minus. So what will happen? 2 will be the LCM, 5 minus 1, 4. So 4 by 2, 2, 2 will be the answer. Okay, so you see, we have reached up to this point. Now we have to complete it with our previous data. We need to complete it. X1, X2, S1, S2, RHS. This is CJ, this is basis, basis. And the coefficient were 3, 5, 0, 0. Okay. It's almost done. Now, what we have to do? We have to find the ZJ, ZJ value. For the ZJ, what we have to do? We have to multiply 3 into 1 plus 5 into 0. So 3 into 1, 3. 5 into 0, 0. So it would be 3. 3 into 0, 0 plus 5 into 1, 5. 3 into 2, 6. Plus 5 into minus 1, minus 5. It would be 1. 3 into 3, 9. Sign is minus, minus plus minus. It would be minus 9 plus 5 into 2, 10. It would be 1. 3 into 1, 3 plus 5 into 2, 10. 13. Now we have to find CJ minus ZJ for the net evaluation row. CJ is 3, ZJ is 3, it will be 0. CJ is 5, ZJ is 5, 0. CJ is 0, and ZJ is 1, it would be minus 1. CJ is 0, and ZJ is 1, it would be minus 1. Okay. So now we have reached to the net evaluation row and this is the net evaluation row. We just need to see whether the, in the net evaluation we have the optimum solution or not. So we know the condition that it must be less than and equals to zero. The so first is less than zero, second is the less than zero, third is also equals to zero it is equals to zero so all the elements of the net evaluation row is fulfilling the condition now we have found we have reached to the optimum level and at you see over here you see over here that what we have found we have found x1 x1 value is one and x2 value is 2. Okay. And the zj value would be 13. The zj value would be 13. So what is the optimum solution? When x1 equals 2, when x1 equals to 1, x2 equals to 2 z or the objective function maximum objective function would be 13 so this is the optimum solution thank you very much